and as we reach the bottom, the pressure and temperature created by the gravity well have a very bizarre effect. Under millions of times the pressure of Earth's surface at 10,000 degrees Celsius, hydrogen changes state into something called metallic hydrogen. Now that doesn't mean it turns solid like steel, it's still liquid, but a metallic liquid, maybe something like the mercury inside a thermometer. The biggest change that takes place here is that metallic hydrogen now has the ability to conduct electricity. Jupiter's gravity squeezes so tightly down here that electrons break free from the hydrogen atoms and flow freely throughout the liquid, generating an electric current. This liquid metallic hydrogen makes up the majority of the planet's interior. It's about 40,000 kilometers deep, and down there, at the bottom of everything, lies the solid core of Jupiter. Kind of. We previously believed that there was a compact, dense object in the middle of Jupiter about the size of the Earth, and made up mostly of iron and rock. That made sense, but new research is uncovering that the planet's core is much more fuzzy, as in the transition between liquid metal and solid core isn't a hard line, meaning the two layers kind of mix together. The fuzzy core spans about half of the planet's radius, and scientists now believe that it's like a big, dense soup of liquid, rock, and metal, all stirred up together with no boundary between where one state of matter ends and another begins. 